Hey there guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. Today, we're gonna test out a ball that everybody's heard of, no doubt about it. Not sure if you ever tried it, but you definitely heard of it. The, the Callaway Warbird. All right guys, this hole is directly into the wind. That ball, really good. Should be somewhere around the beginning of the fairway. Couldn't have placed this any better. We hit a really good drive there with this Warbird. 113 to the middle, 117 to the pin, 125 to the back edge, into a strong wind. I think a pitching wedge would probably balloon, so I'm gonna try to hit a nine iron, keep it a little lower. All right guys, not sure where it is. We hit it pretty good, went a little higher than we wanted. Let's get up there. Gotta be at least to the green, maybe even middle of the green. It's a pretty good shot, 25 feet or so. Aggressive stroke at it, but we just pushed it. Not a bad putt. First of all, the Callaway Warbird is firm as you might expect. That last ball ballooned a lot higher than I thought it would. We've got 165 here. We're gonna hit a five hybrid based on, I think the greens are really soft because that ball only released about a foot. All right guys, another good shot. It felt, felt firm, of course, again, but hit that ball really well. I really like the flight, nice little draw. Get up there and see where it is. Kind of a little down slope in this green. The ball hit right in here, somewhere there, right there. Released about, oh, about 20 feet or so. So I think it's more the down slope than the ball, but again, the green is soft. Missed opportunity there. Ball's firm, you're gonna feel it off the putter. I'm gonna go with a five wood and just hit it off the ground, see how this ball feels. If you like a firm golf ball, this might be a ball for you, but let's play this one more hole with it and see what we can do. All right, guys, that was more me than anything else. I had the club face completely shut down, hit that ball well left. Let's get up there and see what we got. Should be pretty open. We got 156 with a helping win uphill. So I'm gonna play a seven iron. I think one of the things that's different about testing an unfamiliar golf ball is you don't know how the ball is gonna react in wind, different slopes, things like that. I don't wanna go long of the pin, so I'm kind of afraid this may jump and go too far, but I'm not really sure. So I'll hit a seven iron, let's get up there and see what we can do. When you hit it as poorly as I hit that shot back there, it doesn't really matter what ball you play. Hit that on the front of the green, probably, I don't know, 50 feet short of the hole. Let's see if we can get it up here for a two putt. All right there guys, well there you have the on course performance of the Callaway Warbird. Of course, the ball was firm, but didn't play too bad. If you like a firm ball, it might be the ball for you. Let's look at the numbers, see what we get. From 50 yards, the Callaway Warbird launched almost six degrees higher than the Titleist Pro V1. Had about 1100 RPMs less spin, the descent was steeper, and the peak height 
was three yards higher. With the seven iron, the Callaway Warbird only had one less mile per hour of ball speed. The launch was similar, the spin was really close, and the descent and peak height both were close. The carry was only two yards shorter than the Pro V1, and the total was only one yard shorter. The Callaway Warbird performed really well with the seven iron. With the driver, although the Callaway Warbird had three miles per hour less ball speed, the spin was 230 RPMs less than the Pro V1. It also launched one degree higher. So the carry was only four yards shorter than the Pro V1 and the total was only three yards shorter. For a budget ball, the Callaway Warbird performed really well with the driver and the seven iron. To go, just play 13. Need a palm away in. Yeah. Gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now. Hooks and big fades. It's not my day now. Why did I play now? 